Hi everyone, I'm going to give you a quick demo of how to use App Percy. Uh, this is our Percy documentation page for Espresso, and our Getting Started page has a step by step guide that helps you integrate your existing Espresso test scripts with Percy. Now, the first thing you're going to have to do is create an App Percy project. Uh, once you've done that, make sure you give a name. You can link a repository and you'll create a project. Uh, after that, you'll get what is known as a Percy token to add to your environmental variables if you're using some sort of CI CD integration like I am. In this case, we are using Jenkins, and in order to integrate Jenkins, all you have to do is add a Percy token to your Jenkins environmental variable. Uh, to run your chest uh, using App Percy Espresso, you need to add App Percy's Espresso SDK into your build.gradle file. Uh, in this case, the Android test implementation, IO, Percy Espresso, Java 002 is where I placed it here on line 48. Uh, you can then build your app using grade assemble, Gradle Assemble or something similar. You'll be able to take screenshots using the Percy screenshot command. Uh, by firstly first importing app screenshots by first importing app Percy and then you'll be able to call the screenshot with uh, argument of a name such as this single digit one uh, anywhere it makes sense in your script so I've done that here and I've done that here for double digit uh, then you can start running your tests as seen here congratulations your app Percy setup is done now, when we log into the Percy dashboard, we're going to uh, see first the tests are running in App Automate, and then we are receiving that build. So uh, let's wait a couple of seconds for the tests to be finished and screenshot comparisons to be run. Cut this, I'm opening up a test. Now uh, that uh, we have opened the build, you can see all the screenshots that have been taken. Uh, on the left panel, you can see all the snapshots. Uh, the ones with changes are under the change section, while the ones unchanged are under the unchanged, which is where Percy recognizes no changes are there. Uh, when we check out the change section, we're going to see the various individual screenshot comparisons, both the baseline, which is here, and the current screenshot. The differences are highlighted here in the diff gutter. You can switch between all the screens that were captured. You can see here there's no differences on this one. Uh, and uh, you'll also be able to switch between a side by side and an overlay mode by toggling this button. Uh, I'd also like to highlight a feature that allows you to ignore a particular part of the screen. So uh, if we go into our uh, Google Pixel 7, and we want to actually ignore this number two. We can go in and take that and place it over the highlighted section. Once that is done, we can apply this to all branches in the future. Therefore, anytime we have any changes that involve this particular area, it will not be highlighted as a changed section. We also will know which of our tests have differences by looking at this dot here in the corner. And clicking here, we'll be able to switch between all the different devices that we have uh, here uh, inside of our test suite. Now, the last thing I'd like to go over are our project settings page. Uh, you can find your Percy token here. Uh, you'll also be able to update your name, project name, project slug, and your default base branch. Uh, your default base branch is essentially your master or main branch, and we recommend automatically approving your main branch so that your baseline builds always remain updated. Uh, you can automatically approve multiple branches as well using wildcards or simply writing different branch names. Percy also allows you to uh, configure the sensitivity you want for comparisons under the diff sensitivity section here. Uh, strict mode is a direct pixel by pixel comparison. The recommended mode uh, takes advantage of Percy's visual engine, which automatically handles small noisy diffs, uh, like your text shifting by a couple of pixels, anti-aliasing issues, or minor color changes. 
And the relaxed version is a more relaxed version of the recommended settings. Uh, Pricey also supports a linear workflow where comparisons are only run against approved builds in certain, braction, uh, certain branches. Uh, you can set that up in this section. And finally, you'll be able to find detailed guides and SDK documentation right here in the project settings page. All right, thanks so much uh, for uh, viewing our Espresso integration with Percy. Why don't you go ahead and try it out for yourself?